Welcome back to day 21 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about one of the wildest, most visually insane horror films out there. Starring a full-on, unhinged Nicolas Cage. 2018's Mandy. You don't say! If you haven't seen this one yet, buckle up because Mandy is a trip in every sense of the word. It's part fever dream, part revenge flick, and 100% fucking crazy. So why is Mandy such an interesting horror film? Well, for starters, it's not your typical horror. This film is a psychedelic nightmare set in the early 80s with vibrant colors, surreal visuals, and a haunting soundtrack that drags you right into this warped world. You've got cults, supernatural weirdness, chainsaws, and again, Nicolas Cage losing his fucking mind. And honestly, what more could you want in a horror movie? The plot? It's simple but effective. Cage plays Red, a lumberjack who's living a peaceful life in the woods with his girlfriend Mandy. That is until a sadistic cult leader and his band of creepy followers decide to kidnap Mandy. Things take a turn for the absolute fucked up when they burn her alive in front of Red. What follows is a revenge-fueled descent into madness as Red arms himself with a custom-made axe because why not, and goes on a bloody rampage to take down the cult and get his revenge. What makes Mandy stand out though is the style. The movie is visually stunning. It's like watching a heavy metal album cover come to life with its neon colors, slow motion shots, and mind bending visual. Director Panos Cosmatos didn't make a horror film, he made a fucking experience. It's slow, it's trippy, and it's dark as hell. And let's talk about Nicolas Cage. You've seen him do crazy, but in Mandy, he takes it to a whole nother level. There's a scene where he's chugging vodka in his underwear, screaming in a bathroom, and honestly, it might be one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! Cage doesn't hold back, he goes full tilt, and it works perfectly for this film. His performance is raw and over the top, in the best way possible, matching the film's insane energy. Now, Mandy isn't for everyone. It's slow at times, the violence is brutal, and it's definitely more of a visual and an emotional experience than a straight up horror movie. But that's what makes it so damn unique. It's a movie that makes you feel as you watch, and by the end of it, you're either in love with it or questioning what the hell you just witnessed. If you're looking for a horror movie that breaks the mold and delivers something you won't forget anytime soon, Mandy is your ticket. Just be ready to embrace the madness because the film doesn't hold back. Fuck you and this bullshit. But that's what this is, you know. Satanic black magic. Sick shit. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.